Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful stylish seed beads bracelet. It's really easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. In this way you will know when I release matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done like these matching earrings that are done in another color and I'll link to them here at the eye icon. And don't forget that you could have so many different colorful variations of one and the same pattern that look so different that are almost beyond recognition. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links to Amazon where you could buy supplies from, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and also a link to my store. Thank you for your support and watching. And now guys, I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm going to use for this video are two colors of 11 no seed beads. Here is a clasp, lobster scroll clasp and a jump rig. You could use any type of clasp you like. This is Nemo beading thread that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeter. This is size O. And here I use size 10 beading needle and scissors and now i'm going to put 1.2 meters on my needle which is four feet of thread and i'm going to start okay guys and now i have my thread on my needle and i'm going to start by picking up 12 bead six white and six blue and i'm going to alternate them one white one blue Okay, and now I have six white and six blue beads here on my needle. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat. And here what I want to do is make a knot. And I'm making here a knot by making a loop. And I'm going twice here through the loop I've made like that and I pull and this is called half hitch knot or surgeon's knot and I will make one more knot just to be sure that everything is nice tight and secure and I won't have surprises with this assembling okay so now guys this is what I have I have a circle of beads and in my next step, what I want to do is exit through some beads and through one of my white beads. Okay. I'm exiting out of this white bead. And what I want to take are three white beads. And I will go through the same white bead in circle like that. And I'm going to pull. And now you see what I have here. I have a loop of beads and this is called right angle weave, okay? When you have four beads in a cross, this stitch is called right angle weave. Okay, now I'm exiting out of my next white and what I want to take are three more white beads like that and I'm going back through this white and you could also go through the next blue and the next white in this way you will save time because your goal your next goal will be to go through the following white okay now i save time like that if it's difficult for you do this with two movements but i'm doing this with one movement okay three beads go back through this white and exit out of the following white like that and now guys I'm going to repeat this three more times okay 
Okay guys, and now I have this. And what I want to do in my next step is go through this blue one and through one of my white beads like that, okay? I'm exiting out of this side white bead. You see how I repositioned my thread. And now I'm going to take two blue beads and I will go back in circle through these two white beads like that. Through the neighbor white and through this one again. Okay, then I will go in my next element and here in this side white bead. Okay, and I'm going to take again two blue beads. I will go back in circle through these two white beads like that. Okay. Then what I do is that I go through these two beads and if you can, in one movement, go also through this third one that is in my next element or in my next right angle weave, okay? And I'm going to take two blue beads, go back through these two white beads like that and pull, okay? And now, guys, I'm going to repeat this three more times. Okay guys, and now this row is ready and what I want to do is reposition my thread and exit out of this blue bead that I just added. Okay. Now guys, what I want to take are seven white beads. Okay, I have my seven here. And... As I'm exiting from this blue bead, I'm going through the one that's closest to it. Okay, like that. And also through this white bead here. Then I'm going through this white and through the following blue. Like that. And pull. And I'm going to take seven more white beads. Okay, I have my seven, and as I'm exiting from this blue one, I'm going through the following one and through the white as well. Okay, and I pull, now I have this, then I'm going through the white and through this blue one. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to take seven white beads. Okay, seven. Then I'm going here in this blue one, in the following blue one that's closest to this one. Okay, and now I'm going to repeat this three more times. Okay guys, and now this row is ready. Pull it tight, okay? And now guys, in my next step, what I want to do 
is as I'm exiting from this white bead here you see I'm going back through this white and through this blue and also through the following white you see where I'm going okay and then guys I'm going back through this white in this direction and through the blue one and I just want to connect those two whites to stay next to each other it's like I'm making herringbone for those of you who are familiar and if you're not familiar don't worry it's easy I'm showing it slowly okay okay and pull then I'm going through all of those beads here through the blue one and what I want to do is just connect the next two whites with my blue beads okay this one and the one next to it I'm pulling like this okay and then I go through all those beads here in this direction like that through the blue one through the following blue and here exit in my white then connect my next white and go back through all of those white beads in this direction okay and now guys I'm going to repeat this three more times I'll do this off camera and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I'm just connecting my last two white beads from this row and what I want to do next is add one more blue bead between the petals of my flower okay one blue bead here go only through the white one like that and pull okay then go back through this white and through all of those beads in this direction like that then go here through those beads and through the white one here and pull then again through this white and add just one blue bead okay in this step I'm only adding blue beads everywhere okay going here in my next step okay and here take one blue bead go back through the white okay and continue this do this three more times I'll do this off camera and meet you here and I will tell you how to continue if you forget how I did it just rewind the video and see how I'm doing those steps and do the do them the same way okay guys and I'm here where I'm adding my last blue bead from this row like that okay now what I want to do is go here through these three white beads okay now here guys I'm going to take three white beads and I will go back in circle through these two whites okay now I have this in my next step I'm going only through one bead not through two beads like I did before and I'm going to take only one bead okay and I'm going back through this one you see what I have then I go through the following two white beads and take three whites 
and go back through this one here okay like that this is what I have now I go through the blue one and through the following two beads that are on my way And I will, I'm going to repeat the same thing. I'm taking three white beads, going back in circle through these two beads, like that. Now this is what I have. Then I'm going in my next white. Take just one white bead, go back through it. then go in my next two beads okay and take three okay then go here through these two beads okay now guys i have this don't worry it looks like this at this stage we'll fix it with the next thread pad and i'm going to show you one more time how i'm doing the whole thing i'm going through these two beads Adding three, go back here and if you can in one movement also go through the middle bead that's on your way. In this way you will save time and I'm taking one bead and I'm going through this middle that's on my way and through the second two beads in one movement. This is again I'm saying this to save time if it's difficult to for you do this with two movements okay then the last three here okay go also through the blue okay guys and now I'm going to continue this off camera and I'll meet you here if you forgot how I did it just do rewind this video and repeat this side from here and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row, like that. And now guys, I have one additional step before my element is ready. And it is to go around here through the beads of my outer row that I just added. you see how it looks really better okay and you could do this even twice reinforce it twice if you if you want i usually do this i go twice around the outer edge and as usually i'm going to show you here i'm doing this three times And I will let you continue this by yourself. Go even two times if you want and I'll meet you in a while. Okay guys, and I went twice reinforcing my element. And now what I want to do is exit out of this middle white bead of one of my petals. And here what I want to do is attach my clasp, okay? And I'm going to attach it by picking up three blue beads like that going here through my clasp and taking three more blue beads like that and go back here okay and then I will go twice through these blue beads here Okay guys, now I have my clasp attached and what I want to do next is go here through some beads and make a loop like this. Okay, and go twice here and pull. And then what I do is that I go through the following seed bead 
and I'm going to cut my thread. Okay guys, and this is the beginning of my bracelet. And now I will make one more element, but of course without attaching a clasp to it and without cutting my thread. And I'll be back to show you how I'm connecting my elements. Okay guys, and now I have uh, my second element ready and I haven't cut my thread yet. And now what I want to do is connect this element to this one. You see I'm exiting of this middle bead here. I have seven beads. Three here, three here, and one in the middle. And I want to connect this middle bead of my petal with the middle bead with this side. Okay, here I have three, three, and this is the middle one. And I'm going to connect it by taking one blue bead and going here through the other blue bead. Then take just one more blue and go back here through this white one and connect them like that and now I want to reinforce this joint here okay and now guys, what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. And in order to do this, I will choose a place, make a loop, go once, go second time through the loop I've made and pull. And then I go through the following seed bit. And what I do is that I cut my thread okay and now the first two elements of my bracelet are ready so conti continue adding more and more elements the same way and <clears throat> when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet okay guys and when i continued adding more and more elements this is what i have now I'm here where I just added my last element the same way I showed you when I was adding the second one. Okay, and now I'm going to go through all of my beads and reach the other part of my element where I want to attach my jump ring. Okay, and maybe it will be faster if I go through the center of my beads here. Okay. Okay, and now I'm exiting out of the same central bead. Here I have three beads, three beads, and this is the central one. And I'm going to take six blue beads. Okay, and I have this, six, and then I'm going to take my jump ring, and I will go back in circle through this white bead. Okay, and I pull. You could add your jump ring with pliers if you want, okay, but you could add it this way. Okay, now I'm going to reinforce here my work. Okay, and after I reinforce it, I will go here and I, okay, and I make a loop here. I go once and I go second time through the loop I made. I pull, then I go through my next seed bead and I cut my thread and my bracelet is ready. Okay guys, and now my bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And don't forget that when you change colors, you could have so many beautiful different variations of this work. And I have a tutorial for an earrings and I'm linking to it here at the eye icon. 
and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials a link to my store and a link for paypal donations to develop this channel and also amazon links for where to buy supplies thank you so much for watching bye bye from me